The hit and run is on, gentlemen. We are old school like that with Dave Valley and Robert Flores, Mark DeRosa. I'm Lauren Shahadi. I remember watching the Cardinals play in the CS two years ago. It was against the Nationals. They could not string together a hit. It did not matter what the pitching staff did. Now they're averaging 4.4 runs per game. I want to know, can they go into Los Angeles? Can they go into New York, wherever the postseason goes through in the National League, and run it? Dave Valley, yes or no? My, would, my answer would be a yes, and the reason oh. why, because when you have this type of starting pitching that they've had over the last 14 games, their starter's ERA is 2.52. That plays anywhere. Uh, and adding, given to the fact that Goldschmidt is swinging the bat again, they've got added Arenado over the wintertime. This is a lineup that can put runs up on the board, as you mentioned, four runs a game. But to me, everything starts with pitching. Yeah. Pitching and defense. If you, if you show up every night and have pitching and defense, you got a chance to And win. their bullpen's been great. <clears throat> can we give love to Alex Reyes, by the way? I was going to say, the back end of their bullpen. We, we noticed that the first two weeks of the season, it's like weaponry coming out of their bullpen. Eight hits, one run in 20 innings. Yeah. He might um, be one of the best in the National League. There, there's, there's no doubt St. Louis has... Hey, Lauren, it's who's going to get hot at the right time. They certainly have the players to get it done. Jack Flaherty can pitch to a one against anybody. Wayno still can get it done. Is this uh, their division to win? Yeah. Right now? Yeah, I think so. I always think about eating innings in the postseason. Because it's a long postseason, and they have the weapons to do that. You need one, two, three locked four. up at four. Yeah. And sometimes four, you, you don't need bullpen. four, but it'd be nice to have it. Uh, let's four talk about the bullpen. What about a former St. Louis Cardinal, and that's Albert Pujols? The one question I get all the time: it's Who's going to Who's going to pick up Albert Pujols? And you, you know, Robert, I'd love nothing more than sit down for five minutes with Albert and see what's in his heart. Does is there certain places he? wouldn't want to go. Would he entertain going anywhere? I think it's ridiculously fishy. He's out of Anaheim. Weird. Yeah. Okay. Is there a place? I mean, obviously, everybody would love to see him go back and retire with St. Louis. They were talking, I've read online, if it's Wainwright's last year, next year, and Yachty, and I'm not putting, it'd be nice for all three of them to go out together. Where the where is he going to get in at bat? Is he going to sit the bench for the St. Louis Cardinals? Because he's not playing over Paul Goldschmidt. So he's going to be a pinch hit extraordinaire. It would be awesome to see him come out of the dugout and do that. It, does a team like Colorado want to sell a few jerseys and see if he can hit balls 500 feet yeah. and maybe run into some numbers? Does he entertain that? I don't necessarily see a proper fit for him. Yeah, I think trying to figure out a landing spot for Albert at this point in time. He's 41 years old. He's been trending down, but he is one of the greatest right-handed hitters of all time. Ever. Period. End of story. But the hardest thing, I think, for any for anybody or any player is when you're aging and some of that talent that you had when you were 25 and 30 and it disappears. Mm. And even for teams, so how, how do you handle that? Right. How do you handle a graceful exit? Clearly, he didn't want to sit on the bench there, um, and I think that's what kind of precipitated him saying, okay, then you're going to have to DFA me. Yeah. When um, baseball's all you know and then it's over, I would imagine oh. that's a, yeah, I would imagine that's a very hard yes, Val. realization Question for Question life for a second. Do you really? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? It's not a job. That's what I think people do, do and don't realize. It's not a job. Because you've, you've been, had it since You've two. been playing it since T-ball, and Good then point. when it's taken from you, you go home, and it's like, oh, okay, so and, and what do I do now? Because that's all I've ever put my head down and tried to do. Yeah. And to wake up every day and play at that level, you're so competitive and so hyper-focused, and now you don't have to work out and you don't have to do so. It's, it's a, for some guys, they're cool. Like my boy Brian McCann, he'll tell you, I'll talk to you in five years. I've been waiting to sit on the couch. <laughs> I signed a five-year five -year contract with my couch, and I'll let you know. <laughs> If I'm going to do anything afterwards. Said like a true catcher. Other That's guys amazing. really mentally have a tough time yes. with it. And yeah. part of that is because it becomes your identity. Yeah. As you're talking about, it's not what I do. It's just it's who I am. Yeah. Uh, and it's hard to realize I am no longer that guy anymore. I am not a player anymore. And it is. It's Unless you have a real strong identity and self-worth, it can be difficult. And a strong family core, yeah, I, I would imagine. you're going there. Well, it matters, it's right? The truth. Yeah, you go home and then you have your family and that's... And you're like, wow. That's I a have lot a of family, family time. <laughs> like, a lot of family. And I'm around them a I'm lot. Here, I'm, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> it's like quarantine. <laughs> hey, raise your hand if you're looking at, if you're guilty of looking at the NL West and thinking, looking for the Dodgers and then looking for the Padres and then just not anymore. The Giants rotation ERA is the best in the game, yep. Mark DeRosa. And you asked me this question earlier. When when are we going to start saying, okay, here it we is go, a, it is a Time long, now. Yeah, it is a long season. <laughs> Very long. We're only at the quarter pole for a lot of a lot of this stuff. The Giants are obviously going to hit a valley at some point, starting pitching wise. But you you can't deny the fact that they're they're playing really good baseball all around. And the thing for me, their veterans talking to coming off Albert Pujols, their veterans are like rejuvenates. Yes. Buster Posey. Posey's killing it. Longo's giving you good abs. Brandon, Brandon Belt. Belt's decided he wants to take you bridge. Well, I mean I'm I'm. I'm digging what San Francisco's got going. So we were hard on Gabe Kapler with the with the Phillies. He was very fortunate, and he even admitted to getting a second chance so quick. They've been a really, really good team to watch. The team's going to look so different in a couple months' time, so perhaps that's the driving force, no? Why I think they can go? No, I mean, why they're rejuvenated. Also, Buster Posey had all of last year without his legs under him. Yeah, but you need them. though. That was what was aging them, and you were paying them a ton of money, and they, they were ha potentially handicapping you doing things But because they, they weren't bringing – if you traded a Brandon Bell, what was he bringing back? A Brandon Crawford, what was he bringing back? Now it's like, whoa, I'm not trading them. They're – You're going to ride them. Yeah. I mean, the way they're playing, really good. the way Buster's swinging the bat now after having a year off, legs are fresh, he's healthy. We saw what he could do. He was a Hall of Fame player. Mm -hmm. Early in his career, his first seven years may put him in the hall, regardless of what he did after that. But this guy is an impact guy, and he's a guy who could rejuvenate a ball club inside the locker room, on the field. And they had to show them something. The De Sclafani's are dealing, Alex Wood's dealing, Aaron Sanchez has got a three. I mean, this is like not just one guy having a career bounce back. This is a resurgence of about four or five, five guys at the same time. Dave Valley, should the Seattle Mariners deal Mitch Hanniger? At the deadline. Mm. Tough question. Um, I, I think it comes down to what their plan is. Again, they're kind of in that middle middle part of their rebuild. Mitch Hanniger, to me, is their best player on the team. Okay. Offensively, he's got 10 home runs, 27 RBIs. He's a defensive player, an above average defensive player. In fact, two years ago, before he got hurt, he was one of the top outfielders in the game of baseball. So. He's coming up for, on free agency, I think, in about a year and a half. So they've got to decide, do we try to trade him and get some value for him while he's healthy? Yeah. Or do we keep him to try foundation to, and, pillar. and have him be a corner, cornerstone-type player for the future of this yeah, team? Will he take a Lewis? Or I don't know him personally. Will, will he take a Kelnick and a Lewis and kind of vet, be a veteran presence? Or is he still kind of... No, he, he knows who he is. Okay. He knows what he's been through. Adversity has kind of built him into a very strong-minded young man. His work ethic is second to none. He's a player. He shows up every day, and you know what you're going to get from I'm call, I'm calling DePoto. Injuries that and You imagine if Phil, Phillies could use Mitch Hanager. Hey, Jerry DePoto has shown that he's willing to be a trader, be active at any point, no matter if it's the deadline or not.